for this game, though, uh, we are looking at the regular season game 24 of 44. The B-Wolves are 9 of 14 contact specialists going up against the Gold Coast 13 and 10 rotation aces. Uh, just a slightly better uh, starting pitching lineup than us. Our starting pitcher is going to be the southpaw, Deshaun Levon, who started off shaky this season but has become a, uh, a strong brick in the wall. He throws the ball with uh, good enough speed, good enough movement, and he's uh, just a little better than average on his accuracy. He's 1-2 and two on the season with a 7-2-9 ERA, which he's hoping to drop today, and yeah. a one six seven whip. Yeah, and I I hope he does. And and like we said in the last game, we had to go to our our bullpen early. So I'm really hoping Deshaun Levon could uh, go really deep into the game, if not a full game <laughs> himself, because we're going to need to give our relief pitchers some time off. Um, notable players for the B Wolves: uh, Alora Franco at first base, um, uh, amazing power, great ability to connect, and she's got great speed on the base pass. She's hitting 400 with two home runs this season. Buster Biggs in left field, he's locked in. Um, he's playing. He's playing with. He's hitting the ball with much more with better power than he has over his career. He is seeing the ball at the plate better than he has for his career, um, and his speed is better than he's, he's shown for his <laughs> career. All of which are are uh, excellent. Uh, very very good uh, uh, in all three phases. He's hitting 376 um, with three home runs. Henley Dexteras, uh, our superstar shortstop, temperamental superstar shortstop who hit a home run in the last game, but he finds himself tense. <laughs> so, um, and he's actually underperforming. So he's not hitting with as much power. He's not connecting with the ball, nor is he running with as much speed as we've seen him over the course of his career. Um, he's hitting with a little bit about a little bit better than average power. He still connects pretty well and he's got pretty good speed on the base pass. But again, uh, not what he's uh, typical for him. He's hitting 292. Uh, on the season with two home runs, got a second one of the last game, and yeah, we we said he's uh, he seems to get he seems to lose a little bit of his mojo every time he gets thrown out. I think he's got he leads the league in getting thrown out stealing, so maybe we don't see him stealing as many bases for a little while. Just yeah, his, his hitting game back together. Well, you, you <laughs> know, you, base and stay there. <laughs> well, you look at it, and you, you know, by all you know, by all means, he should be able to take those bases, but uh, yeah. you know, what can you do? <laughs> It's all up to him. All right, right, looking at the starting pitcher for the uh, the Gold Coast, they bring out their south, southpaw, Maximiliano Della Rosa. That is quite an Italian name. He uh, he throws the ball with about average velocity. Doesn't put a whole lot of movement on it, but he's a little more accurate than your average pitcher. He's got a two one record on the season. Pete, he's got a four two eight ERA and a one three five WHIP. Yes, he does. And they're going to trot out their notable players uh, for sure. Uh, Ballard in right field, who is on fire. Um, He's hitting with better power, um, and he's he's making better connection and better speed uh, than he's uh, had over the course of his career. His power is about average, but he's got a great ability to connect, um, and he's got some good speed on the base pass if he can get to, get on base. He's hitting 442 on the season with three home runs. O'Neal, option go ahead. Uh, Say Ballard is. I was looking at the ticker there in the lower left. He's got the second best on base percentage in the league right now. Oh wow. Yeah, well, you can see his his bar is almost all the way up for his ability to connect. Uh, O'Neill at first base is locked in, and she's got uh, pretty good power, uh, a little bit better than average ability to connect, and then she's got a little bit less than average speed, um, but she's showing better than she has over the course of her career as well. So she's peaking out and and outperforming just a little bit uh, over her uh, her lifetime averages. She's hitting 400 with two home runs, so <laughs> it's almost mirrored first baseman. Alora Franco and uh, O'Neill with the same uh, same kind of average, 400. Hit both of them hitting 400, both with two home runs. Thornton, at also a first baseman. He's got uh, very good power, very good ability to connect, and he's uh, a little bit uh, less than average speed. He's hitting 212 with two home runs. And, uh, again, I'm sure that either O'Neill or Thornton will play a secondary position. Um, they can't both be playing first base. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And what I'm seeing, when we look at that, the two notable players were hitting over 400. After that, the next one drops down to 212. So I think we got to be really careful with Ballard and O'Neill. Um, and if we get around those guys, we may have a, a shot at uh, at taking these guys down another another peg. Yeah, definitely, and and uh, definitely Ballard. Um, you know, hitting 442, he's almost at 500. So yeah, I would. 
you know, if there's nobody on base, if you got an empty base, go ahead and put them on, you know, <laughs> don't, yeah. Yeah. don't even risk it. You know, uh, unless, unless the bases are clear. I mean, he's not a home run hitter. So, yeah. um, if you wanted to challenge him with the bases empty, I guess I, you could go with that. But if there's somebody on, I'd probably just put them on Be my careful, you know, at least. Yeah. Well, the, getting the lineup from the second, the assistant coach, and it starts with Hanley Dexter as a shortstop, who is tense playing at the shortstop, but he's still one of our best players of all time. Billy LeBoink follows him closely. Right field will be batting second. Batting third, Buster Biggs in left field. He is locked in, and he is he's one of our surprise offensive threats this season. He really hasn't struggled much at all, and he's he's been playing solid for the last half dozen games at least. Alora Franco at first base. She'll bat fourth, followed by Magic Moore, who is also locked in. He's got good contacts against, against the left-hander, so he'll he'll be good going against uh, the the Gold Coats pitcher. Gina Torrens will bat sixth at second base. Bertha Banks will be playing third base today, and Eliza Peck will be behind the plate, calling the signals to Deshaun Levon. We're happy to see get back out there again. He's got a lot of stamina. He's going to need it. He's going to be throwing the forefinger, the two finger, the slider, and the changeup. And hopefully he's throwing them long into the game. And with a situation like this where we're down so uh, with so much of our uh, relief pictures sucking wind, he's going to need to uh, be aggressive and really put these batters away quickly. Yeah, yeah. I mean, almost uh, right now the uh, the uh, B-Wolf pitchers are, are really racking up the strikeouts, which is great, but that means they're at least throwing – they have to throw at least three pitches to each, each hitter. I mean, if they can go a couple of innings with, uh, you know, ground out on the first pitch or pop out on the first pitch and try to keep that pitch count low. Like Tom says, we're, we're going to need Levon to go deep <laughs> to give some of our relievers uh, a rest. So, um, yeah, it might be more about keeping the pitch count low than, than maybe striking out pitchers. I mean, striking out batters. Well, I like his chances. And here we are going to the field is a nice afternoon here in Oakland at Socorro Hills, Pete. Beautiful Socorro Hills. I just love the green grass, Tommy. I can't I, believe they pay me to be here. I like the cherry blossom. Yeah. I like to go for a stroll out there in center field when I get a chance. Yes, sir. Oh, no. I'm at 50. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, for 50 the Gold Coast, French is at third base, Ballard in right field, Thornton first base, Stewart at catching, Pineda in center field, Pennington shortstop, Nielsen in left field, Delgado at second base. They're both tense and Della Rosa on the pitcher's mound. My... Um, my thing is at 50, my ego. Coming okay. up in the top of the well, first, look. Hanley Dexter is Billy LeBoink and Buster Biggs. I don't know if I can change oh, it now, though. I, I think you can. We'll, we'll, okay. I hope so. Let's see here. Hold on. Let me. We'll just, yeah, we'll pause it when uh, Dexter comes up here. Sorry about the technical Ooh. time out here, folks. Oh, good. All right. Yeah, Back sorry, folks. <laughs> We're just that happen? I don't know. We're just rolling in, and I'm like, hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> All right, there we go. Hanley Dexter is up first. He's at 292, two home runs, six RBIs on the season. Gets a hold of the first one. That's going deep, and it's run down by Nelson in left field for the first out. Normally you let that one go, but that one kind of came right in there. Billy LeBoyne comes in at 356 on the season with three home runs of his own. LeBoyne kind of calm in the right hand batter's crushes that one, almost takes the helmet off his teammate. Smashes the second one, a liner back out in the center field. Decent Nielsen grabs that one as well. We got three pitches, two outs. Yeah, we're going to have to make it work harder than that. Biggs is hitting 376 on the season, three home runs, 12 RBIs. Takes the first pitch inside, ball one. That's a smash to Ranch at third base, picks it up, makes the throw to Thornton for, to retire the sides. One, two, three, going into the bottom of the first. The Gold Coats are going to bet. Uh, Bat Messiah French, Stephen Ballard, and Braxton Thornton. Deshaun Levon going to get a first look at this gold coat lineup. Messiah French, the third baseman, hitting 225. No home runs, but seven RBIs. Oh. Hopefully, Levon takes a good, close look at Messiah French. Seven ribbies. That's impressive. See, right hander stand there in the box. Levon looks for a signal, gets it from, from Peck. First pitch misses high and inside off the hands. One and oh, beautiful day here for baseball in Oakland, California. That one's a souvenir down the right side. We got a lot of white shirts out there, but it looks like uh, they're both they're both teams. Strike two on the inside corner. Finally gets one in there. One and two to count. 
And uh, this is a big game for both teams. Swing of a strike three on a slider. Nice outside slider there by Deshaun Levon. Gets his first K in the first inning. And here's the guy you got to look for. 442 with three home runs and 12 RBIs. The lefty is ready to show what he can do. Deshaun Levon wants to show he can take him. Misses on that first pitch. High ball one, one the count. Goes outside, and uh, Ballard does not chase it. Ballard a very, very cautious swinger despite his record. Inside corner strike one. Finally, we're two and one with one out in the bottom of the first. Still no score here. Second pitch in the strike two. And he's evened up a count on Ballard. We'll see what Ballard's looking to do. Swings at that one. Levon runs over, grabs it, whips it to first, and just gets him in time, Pete. All Way right. to go, Dish Gone. All right. Braxton Thornton, 212, two home runs. He's got contact against lefties. So he is an eager right handed batter. That one misses high and outside, ball one to Thornton. That one's a strike one apiece. Thornton has two home runs on the season. I think I mentioned that. Not sure. Capacity crowd here at uh, Core Hills today. They see the second pitch coming for a strike one and two. Levon's ahead of him and he wants to get him. Gets him, strike three inside corner. Way to in that side. All right. Two strikeouts in the first inning. Coming up in the top of the second, Alora Franco, Magic Moore, and Gina Torrens. De La Rosa got through that first inning, only throwing five pitches. He's given up no strikeouts, no walks, and no hits so far. Franco's hitting 400, two home runs, and seven RBIs on the season, playing first base. It is nice. Franco's excited to play this field for the first time. Gets that one down the right side, foul. Ball inside. Second pitch is inside, ball one. One apiece to Franco, who's calm and cool in the right-hand batter's box. Watches that ball come in. She's ahead 2-1. Third pitch gets it. She tags it to right field, running under to Ballard. He's going to make that first out. Yes, sir. Magic more. He's locked in. He's got good connection versus left-handed pitchers, which is a good matchup for uh, Moore. That shot straight back up the middle in the center field. A clean single on the first pitch that Moore saw now runner at first. And, and that's, yeah, it's our, the first single of the day for anyone. Gina Torrance, 273 on the season, hoping to advance Magic Moore at first base. A lofting curve makes and misses in there, ball one. Second pitch right in there. Torrance hits it hard to left field. Nielsen picks it up, stops it. It's going to be another single by Torrance. we got runners at first and second, which is one out, Pete. One out. Come on, Bertha. You're due for one. She's hitting 200 on the season with no home runs and two RBIs. Tommy said runners at first and second with one out. Oh, check swing, called strike. No balls, one strike. That's popped up into right field. The right fielder's Ballard is under it, makes the catch. The runners are back. What an arm. Boy, he yeah. threw the third to hold her up, and Eliza Peck comes up 182, only 182 on this season. Open for something for her. He's got two outs, the media pressure situation here in the top of the second. The people is hoping to put together some offense. First pitch misses for a ball. Second pitch misses for a ball. Two and zero, oh. and uh, De La Rosa struggled a little bit on a couple of pitches there. He gets his composure, gets there, Peck hits it hard, but Delgado reaches out, grabs it, throws it to first, and ends the side. Oh, but they were knocking there. B-Wolves pick up two hits in the uh, top of the second. Chevelle Stewart, Dunk Pineda, and Guadalupe Pennington. Levon threw 13 pitches in that first inning and got two strikeouts. Again, that's what I was talking about. Winds up with two strikeouts, but he threw 13 pitches. <laughs> yeah. Chevelle Stewart hitting 196 on the season with three home runs and six RBIs. He's catching today for the, uh, the Gold Coats. Swings at the first pitch, fouls it off along the first baseline. No balls, one strike to Stewart. Levon looks in, gets the signal, delivers. That's in there for called second strike. Quickly, Stewart's in a hole, 0-2. Oh Levon delivers. And Gina hey. Torrens with a diving catch for the first out. Dunk Pineda, the center fielder, steps in. He's hitting 307. Uh oh. Looks like Torrens hurt herself on that she diving did. catch. Sprained her wrist, it looks like. Pineda's uh, playing center field for the Gold Coats as we take a medical timeout here. Gina Dor Torrens is going to be replaced by Freddie Knox, the second baseman. Freddie Knox comes in. 
He's feeling neutral and fit. He's got great speed on the base pass. His fielding is a less than average, and his arm is about average. So uh, maybe a little bit of a uh, defensive hurt. Oh, no. Dexteris makes the diving stop, but unfortunately it got past Deshaun Levan, um, which nobody was expecting. So there was a single there, one out, the runner at first. Guadalupe Pennington, the shortstop, comes in. Takes the first pitch for a called strike. She's in 262 on the season. Levon steps off the rubber and makes the uh, has the uh, runner return to first. That's popped up. Foul. Out of play. And Pennington's in the hole. No balls. Two strikes. There's a little bit of speed at first base. That's a flare. Oh, oh. no. Just over the head of Freddie Knox into right field. So now the Gold Coats with runners at first and second with one out. Peyton Nelson hitting 186 with three home runs. Levon throws back to second to keep the runner close to the bag. Nelson's the left fielder. He's got 20 RBIs on the season. There's a shot. Double play. Yes. Ground ball to Alora Franco, who throws the second for one out. They relay it over to first to Deshaun Levon, who's covering for the second. Deshaun Levon's first at bat, Hanley Dexterres and Billy LeBoyne coming up in the top of the third. Maximilian De La Rosa at 17 pitches. Levon, the pitcher, has got a batting average of 167 with two RBIs. That first pitch is in there for called strike. Strike one. That's popped up into left center field, and then Ballard, I mean the right fielder, right center field, the right fielder Ballard was able to get under it and make the catch. Dexterous comes up 0 for 1 today, 289 the season. He's hoping to get on base here and do a little something for the B Wolves. First pitch in there for a strike, 0 on the count. Second pitch high off the catcher's glove, gets behind him, one apiece. Inside quarter ball, two good eye by Hanley Dexterous, waiting for his pitch and getting the pitch count up there. Another one, strike two, two apiece. He's a tough out. He smashes that one. It's a liner that's going to be caught in center field by Pineda for the second out. Billy LeBoink, 0 for 1 today, hitting 352 with three home runs, 13 RBIs. He's a fan of the high pitch. There's a smash on the ground to French at third, picks it up, double pumps, makes the throw to Thornton at first to retire the sides. One, two, three. Coming up in the bottom of the third, Pants Delgado, Maximilian De La Rosa, and Messiah French. French is 0 for 1 with a strikeout. Levan's up to 21 pitches with two strikeouts and giving up two hits. Pants is tense. He's looking tense. He's 302 on the season with two home runs, so he could do it. But uh, maybe not today. <laughs> a little bit a little bit behind his average. Takes the first pitch way outside, ball one. Chewing gum on the right hand. Batter's box. Inside corner strike one. Raven up at one apiece, bottom of the third. There's no score here at Score Hills in Oakland, California. Home of the Gold Coats. Second pitch is in there for a strike. One and two count. The California fans cheering on their Oakland team. Tries to get him chasing that slider. It does not go. Even up at two apiece. Throwing his 26th pitch. Inside corner popped up. Magic Moore is going to have to run underneath it. Gets there, makes that first out. Looks like he had trouble tracking it at first. He found it in left center. Maximiliano De La Rosa. He is hitting 0 0 0 0. He is not hitting, basically. He's got okay speed if he gets on base for some reason. But Levan throws him a ball inside corner 1 0. He doesn't swing. Second pitch pops that one up into center field. Magic Moore underneath it. Waving it off in deep center field, actually, for the second out. And we are one away from ending it. You got Messiah French, who is 0 for 1, just coming through the lineup for the first time here in the third inning. Um, Deshaun Levon wants to get out of it in under 30 pitches. That one near the hands, ball one. He's hoping to hit him, get him to hit this one somewhere bad. He grounds it, but it's foul. One apiece. Third of the way to 90. Swings inside corner. Nice change up there. Hits a foul again. One and two. We'll see what he comes in his 32nd pitch. Gets a signal from Eliza Peck. Nods. Winds up. Delivers. 
Inside corner, he tags that one foul again, and he's trying to bring up the pitch count on LeVon. LeVon's trying to find the right pitch to get the strike. Hits that one down the line, and that's going to go foul as well. And all of a sudden, the pitches are coming up on Deshaun LeVon here. Getting ready to throw his 34th. Swing outside corner. He does not swing, and it's a, a no-swing strikeout. All right, top of the fourth. Let's go, B-Wolves. Buster Biggs 0-for-1, Alora Franco 0-for-1, and Magic Moore 1-for-1. De La Rosa's up to 25 pitches and giving up two hits. Both teams knotted up with two hits, but so far, goose eggs on the board. Tied up, well, nothing, nothing. Buster Biggs is 0-for-1, but I like his chances. He's locked in, so uh, I see him getting on. Hits it hard. Shortstop Pennington ranges over, gets it, and throws him out in time. It was a good hit, but she was playing in the right spot. Laura Franco feeling neutral. Um, hitting 394. De La Rosa is locked in right now at 27 pitches. There's a shot down the third baseline into the corner. She's going around first, heading it into second. She's going to pull up at second with a double. Nice shot of Laura Franco. That ball had eyes and just found its way to the wall. Painted that line. Magic Moore, one for one on the day. Good contact against lefties. He's got a fast runner at second base. He hits that one hard into the gap, and Franco's going to make that home. Pineda picks it up to center field. Franco's going around. There it is. It's a okay. single, and this brings in that run. One up with Beagles, Pete. Way to go. Come on, Freddie Knox. Freddie Knox steps up in there, took over second base for Gina Torrens after she was injured. Delarosa delivers the first pitch. It's in there for called strike. Strike one. That's popped up into the outfield. And the center fielder's calling for it, and Pineda makes the catch. And uh, somebody was able to get back to first. <laughs> I would like to see Bertha Banks take one out here, Pete. She's only hitting 196 on the season. She's struggling a little bit. She ah, hits that, that one. It's a, a swing. swinging bunt. Delarosa picks it up. Guns are down at first. Yeah, that Three was out. dumb. But the B-Wolves pick up a run off of two hits. So it's B-Wolves one, Gold Coats nothing. B-Wolves have out hit the Gold Coats 4-2. Coming up in the bottom of the four, Stefan Ballard 0 for 1. Braxton Thornton 0 for 1 with a strikeout. And Chappelle Stewart 0 for 1. Ballard's on fire. He's hitting 438 with three home runs, 12 RBIs. We talked about him at the start of the game. Uh, Levon's at 34 pitches, delivers, swing and a miss by Ballard. No balls, one strike in the bottom of the fourth. LeVon delivers. That's in there for a called second strike. Ballard finds himself in the hole. No balls, two strikes. This is one of the most potentially dangerous hitters in the league. That's fouled off along the third baseline. Ballard gets a, another chance here. No balls, two strikes to Ballard. LeVon delivers. That's a roller to Dexteris, picks it up, makes the throw to first to get Ballard. So Ballard's 0 for 2 so far today. Coming up, first baseman Braxton Thornton steps in. He's hitting 209 on the season with two home runs, 12 RBIs, one out. That's into center field for a clean single. Thornton reaches first base safely with one out in the bottom of the fourth. Chevelle Stewart, the catcher, he's got good connection versus left-handed pitching. He's hitting 193, though, on the season with three home runs. That's in there for cold strike. No balls, one strike. The runner at first does not have a lot of speed, so he's not a big threat to steal. That's in there for cold second strike, and Stewart once again finds himself behind 0-2. Oh, There's a shot, and that's not going to be able to be picked up by... Uh, the second baseman. So that goes into right field for a clean single. Again, base, uh, base runners at first and second for the Gold Coats with uh, one out. And Dunk Pineda, the center fielder, hitting 316 on the season. He takes that one for a long ride, but that's going to drift foul. That is a deep foul ball. No balls, one strike. One out, bottom of the fourth. Beewolves with a one another lead. That's in there for a called second strike. Pineda finds himself now in the hold. No balls, two strikes. LeVon de delivers. That's in there for called third strike, and Pineda goes down on strikes. Didn't get the bat off his shoulder, so two outs. Runners at first and second. Play the batter here. Two outs. Pennington hitting 271 with a home run swing and a miss. 
No balls, one strike to Pennington, the shortstop. That one's outside. Evens up to count, one and one. That's a little low, ball two. Two and one to Pennington. That's an air for calls, second strike. The count is evened at two. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. There's a roller to Dexteris, picks it up, and oh no. Oh. I got some uh, I got some chug right there and it overthrew the ball to first base, so that was should have been an out. He's rattled though. Peyton Nelson, the left fielder, is rattled. That's a oh, no. fly ball into oh, no. center field, and that's gone. A grand slam home run. So after the error by uh, Dexteris, there's a, a grand slam home run, and the Gold Coats take a 4-1 to lead. Pants Delgado, the second baseman, is tense. He's 0 for 1 on the day. He's hitting 299 with two home runs and 16 RBIs. Bases are clear, two outs. That's fouled off along the first baseline. No balls, one strike. That's fouled off along the third baseline, and now Delgado's in the hole. No balls, two strikes. That's going back to... Oh, God. <laughs> Who do we got playing second? Freddie Knox. Freddie Knox. Okay, he's not very... He doesn't have a lot of speed. <laughs> yeah, he's a little slow on the run, too. So uh, another single gets past Knox into right field. That one's popped up into deep right field, and Billy LeBoink is oh does not make the, the does not make the catch does not make the catch, and that's going to be five. Oh, oh my gosh, this is oh, horrible. Boy. And we can't even really take out. Uh, and he's got to stay in there. Messiah French, this is so uh, unfair to Deshaun Levon. Two outs, and it all started with a poor play by Dexter, uh, by uh, Dexteris at short, Dexteris at shortstop, and that was, it was completely uh, glitched. It wasn't glitched, but it was uh, chugging. It was, I didn't. All right, two foul balls. So this guy French is in the hole. Oh, and two, two outs. There's a runners at first, and there's a runner at second. That one's fouled off. Still 0-2. That's a oh. shot, and Freddie Knox is playing too damn close to the bag. I don't know why he's playing that close to second base. I think he's cheated over for it. I don't. What is he doing? It's, there's two outs. All right. So Stefan Ballard is up again. I think he's let off. I think he let off this inning. Jeez. Um. Yeah, this is a cacophony of errors at this point. Okay, Deshaun, just let's get this guy. Okay. Fouled off along the third base down. No balls, one strike, two outs in the Bye. bottom of the fourth. That's in there for a called strike. Ballard's in the hole, 0-2. Oh um, that's popped up. Uh, Eliza Peck's back. She makes the catch to finally end this inning. That's three outs. Mm. And the uh, B-Wolves give up five in that one inning, and it's really poor play in the field. I, that's just it. Eliza Peck 0 for 1, Deshaun Levan 0 for 1, and Hanley Dexter is 0 for 2. They got their work cut out for him. That was ugly. <laughs> Eliza Peck, the catcher, is 0 for 1, hitting 167. How the mighty have fallen. She came in and was tearing up the league, and now all of a sudden she seems to be struggling. Takes the first pitch for a cold strike. Strike one. That's fouled off along the first baseline out of play. No balls, two strikes to Peck. That's ground ball to the third baseman. French picks it up, makes the throw to Thornton to retire Peck. She goes 0 for 2 on the day. Deshaun Levon. He's 0 for 1, hitting 143. Not expecting much, but he's got good power for a pitcher, Pete. He can, he can take one and ride it right over the wall. First pitch of ball, second pitch hard and past third base, Pete. Gets to Nielsen in, third, in left field, and he's going to make it the first of the the single, one out, and top of the fifth. All right, Hanley Dexter is a superstar shortstop. He's tense, 0 for 2 on the day, hitting 286. Deshaun Levon is not a threat to steal. That's popped no. up in the center field. The center field is calling everybody up. Pineda makes the catch for the second out. Levon stays close to first base. Jeez. The little boy comes in 0 for 2. Hopefully he gets one for two here. Deshaun Levon is going to be staying at first. First pitch swing and strike one on the inside corner. 
Second pitch lofter. The boy hits it hard. It's going to center field, waving it off as Pineda, and he's going to get him three down. Just carried. I mean, that ball just seemed to just hang. <laughs> just was <laughs> hanging there forever. Braxton Thornton, one for two with a strikeout. Chevelle Stewart, one for two. Dunk Pineda, one for two with a strikeout. Lavon's up to 64 pitches in the fifth inning with four strikeouts and giving up eight hits. Gold Coach with a 5-1 lead. Number 24. Braxton Thornton, one for two. I think he batted in this last inning. <laughs> I think everybody batted in that last inning. Good contact, good power. Watch the first pitch outside corner, ball one, one and all the count. Second pitch misses inside, ball two. Bottom of the fifth, it's 5 1, Gold Coats lead. And the B Wolves are hoping to claw their way back. That fastball makes it in there for a strike, two finger, two and one on the count to Thornton. He hits that one hard to Knox. Knox is going to get this one. Pick it up, toss it over to first base to Franco. The first out. Thank God. <laughs> Chevelle Stewart, one for two of the single. He likes these lefties. Levon is still cool. He can get back in this thing. He's at, he hasn't been pitching poorly. No. Um, gets that one hard to Knox, who makes the jump but can't get it. And it's going to get past LeBoink. He's going to throw it. He's going to throw it to second. He's coming around to third. I, I couldn't get the cutoff guy. I couldn't get the cutoff. Which button is the cutoff? Uh, I think it's the left bumper. Bumper, I hit the trigger. And then I got a runner at third base. One out. Dunk Pineda coming up 312 on the season. It's first pitch inside corner for a strike. Pineda, second pitch, misses low. One apiece. One out. Levon's got to get to Knox. Dives, gets, picks it up, throws it over to first base, gets the second out, but they get another run with that mistake. The third comes to third base, makes it in. Guadalupe Plenty comes up one for two on the day with a single. And the game's not over. The Beebles can get back in this. It's only the fifth inning. Pennington has got 11 RBIs on the season. She's got nobody on base. Levon looking for his pitch. He's got some gas in the tank, but he's getting ready to throw a 73rd pitch right there. Misses way high. Ball 1-1 on the count. Here in Oakland. Not the start that the Beebles were hoping for. Second pitch is hit hard to Knox, who's going to pick that one up, toss it over to first base. Knox played well in that inning. Yeah. Buster Biggs, 0 for 2. Elora Franco, 1 for 2 with a double. And Magic Moore, 2 for 2. Maximiliano Dallarosa is at 40 pitches with uh, giving up five hits. The uh, Gold Coats with a 6-1 lead over the uh, Beebles. They've out-hit the Beebles, 9 to something. Buster Biggs is... Uh, was the 0 for 2 on the day, I think? He's Oops. hitting 368 with three home runs, 12 RBIs. Playing left field for the B-Wolves. That's down, ball one. That's in, up the middle in the center field for a clean single, and Buster Biggs is on base. I don't think Buster Biggs is 0 for 2, but we'll see. Yeah. No, yeah, well, I guess, I guess maybe he was. Laura Franco's 1 for 2. I know that. <laughs> There goes Biggs for second. Franco watch it come to the ball. He slides in, and he's safe, Pete. He gets All in right. No outs. we got a runner in scoring position. One ball. Outside corner ball, two. Good patience by Laura Franco. He's hitting 403 on the season. That one is way go, outside. Go, go. Uh, no, no. no, he's got to go back. He's got to go back. Yeah. <laughs> he's a little bit late on the jump on that missed ball. He's still at second base. 3-0. and oh. She doesn't have to swing, but she does. Strike one. 3-1 and account. Top of the six. Let's see if he goes here. Break. Strike two, full up. She's getting on the pitch to her. He's throwing his 48th pitch right there. Right down the middle. She cranks it hard to center field. And come it's on, back man. at the track. Pineda makes the first out. He's got to come back to second base. He slides in, and he's out for the double play. Oh, my gosh. I can't hit a home run. I just can't do it. <laughs> I don't know why. All right, Magic Moore, 363 home runs, 12 RBIs. That one's uh, inside, ball one, one and all. Oh. There's a shot out to right field, and Ballard's there to make the kick. Man. Coming up in the bottom of the sixth, Peyton Nielsen, one for two with a home run. Pants Delgado, one for two. And Maximiliano De La Rosa, one for two with a double. Deshaun Levon's up to 74 pitches, four strikeouts, giving up nine hits. Again, Gold Coats leading 6-1. Peyton Nelson, even with the home run, is still tense. Still tense. Oh, get out of this inning. 
It's in there for a called strike. Strike one to Peyton Nelson. Nelson's playing left field for the Gold Coats. Hit that grand slam his last time up. Finds himself in the hole quickly. No balls, two strikes, no outs in the bottom of the fifth. That's in there for a called third strike. Nielsen goes down on strike. So from hero to goat in one go round. Pants Delgado's, t uh, he's also tense. Hitting 306 with two home runs, 16 RBIs, one out. There's a shot to Freddie Knox, who fight. I'm getting a lot of chug. Come on, man. Picks it up, makes the throw to Alora Franco to retire the, uh, retire the batter. So two outs. Maximiliano De La Rosa hitting 0 .08, 0 .083. Two outs. Takes the first pitch. That's inside. Ball one. One and oh. That's down. Allen's low. Two balls, no strikes to De La Rosa. That's in there for a cold strike. Two balls, one strike. Lavon's up to 81 pitches in the sixth inning. There's a swing and a miss by De La Rosa. Evens up the count. Two balls, two strikes with two outs. That's fouled off along the third baseline. We'll do it again. Two balls, two strikes. Put it in there, Lavon. Allen's high. Full count. Three balls, two strikes with two outs. Count is full to De La Rosa. Swing and a miss. He goes down on strikes. One, two, three. Freddie Knox, 0 for 1. Bertha Banks, 0 for 2. And Eliza Peck, 0 for 2. Della Rosa is up to 50 pitches as we head into the seventh. B Wolves trailing 6 to 1. Gold Coats have out hit the B Wolves 9 6. And of course, there's Hanley Dexteris' error that opened up the door to a big inning. Knox just needs to be patient, good, confident hitting. Takes his first oh, pitch out, nope. reaches out, hits it straight to Delgado. One down. Yeah. How about the third baseman, Bertha Banks? Bertha Banks is tense. She's 0 for 2 today, hitting 193. No home runs and two RBIs for the Go third high. baseman. Not typical for her on the season. That one's high. Ball one. That one's outside. Ball two. Two and 0. Ball inside. That's inside. Ball three. Banks is uh, strike. takes that pitch for called strikes. Three ball, one strike. Strike. That one's in there for called second strike. Looked a little, a little high for me. Three balls, two strikes. That's in there for called third strike. And Bertha Banks goes down on strike. Boy, he starts off with three balls and comes in with three yeah. strikes. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, I thought that second one was out. Uh, Della Rosa really regained his pressure. 57 pitches, 58 now. With a ball, first one's another ball. He likes to leave oh, the ball. Pete. She pops that one up. That's going to be caught easily by the shortstop. Pennington right by second base, three down. Yes, sir. We're running out of time here. Messiah, Messiah French, one for three with two strikeouts. Stefan Ballard's 0 for three. Braxton Thornton, one for three with a strikeout. Levon's up to 85 pitches with six strikeouts and nine, giving up nine hits. Now batting. Messiah French, one for three with a single. Number so let's see here. Levon's got, still got a little bit of gas in the tank. He's throwing 85 pitches. Peck's looking to give him a signal. But they're waving to, over to the bullpen, taking a I look. Just, yeah, I just want to take a look. I'm just going to... Yeah, the skipper's coming out to the mound to talk to him. Not sure if something's right. going to happen or not. Gives All the right. ball back, pats him on the rump. We, We're underway we got, here. We got faith of... in you, Deshaun. Oh, there magic is. more. Nice, magic, oh, nice. I wasn't sure he was going to get that, but he trailed out there in the left center. Made that catch. And here comes a dangerous hitter, Stephen Ballard, 429. Ball inside. First pitch misses inside corner. I believe he's 0 for 3 on the day, though. Outside corner, he crushes that to Moore. Moore is going to pick that up in center field. It's going to be a clean single for Ballard. The crowd's behind him. Braxton Thornton's got contact against lefties. He's 1 for 3 with a single today. John Levon, 89th pitch to Frank. Oh, Franco, she drops it. Knox picks it up, throws it to her. They get that out for the runner, for the for the hitter, but they did not get um, the double play. Trell Stewart, two for three. Good contact against left-handers. First pitch misses high, ball one. One of the count, two outs, bottom of the seventh. is 6-1, Gold Coats lead. Two quick balls, over 90 pitches. Gets a strike on the inside corner. Two and one. That pitch misses outside. Three and one the count. 
Vaughn's starting to lose it on his velocity. There's a strike. We're full up. Throwing his 95th pitch right here. It's a curse. Check swing strike three. End in the side. Way to get out of that inning. Deshaun Levon, 1 for 2, Hanley Dick stairs 0 for 3, Billy LeBoink 0 for 3, De La Rosa is at 59 pitches with one strike, giving up 6 hits, he's going to coast to the end of this game because he's still got 2 more innings, <laughs> Levon, 1 for 2 with a single hit and 250 on the season, um, looks like we're going to get a substitution here at this point, B-Wolves need offense, they need something to happen here at, the bay on, at home plate, um, otherwise this game's over. Um, coming in for Deshaun Levon, Ruby Green, the utility first baseman. Um, Green's hitting 306 with two home runs, three RBI. She's feeling neutral and fit. She's got about average power, average contact, a little bit less than average speed. She's known around the league as an RBI man. Sean Levon will take a seat for the day. First pitch to Green is in there for cold strike. Strike one. That one's low, ball one. One and one. That's a smash to the shortstop. Pennington picks it up, double pumps, makes the throw to Thornton at first to retire Green. And we're up to Dexterous. He's rattled. Oh, for he three today. He just needs to be calm. First pitch in there for strike, 0-1 on the count. Top of the eighth, 6-1. Strike. strike two, he's quickly down two, but he's a tough out. We'll see what happens here. Swings and hits that one. Oh, but Pennington reaches out, gets it a shortstop, whips it. The first gets him out. He's over four. Not a good day for Dick Stairs. No. Billy the boy go for three himself, going hitting 344. Three home runs, 13 RBIs. Likes the high pitch, does the boy. So Delarosa gives him a low one. That's in there for a called strike. That's hit up the middle. Delgado lays out, picks it up, makes the throw over to Thornton and gets LeBoink one, two, three. What defense? I don't think we're hitting the ball very well. <laughs> well, I, I mean, he nailed that. Just diving, flying catch. Yeah, but it wasn't. I mean, if it was moving faster, it would have gotten through. Um, Ruby Green's going to get pulled in favor of Dusty Winder, the relief pitcher. He's hitting. Uh, he's throwing. Uh, his ERA is 443. He's got a 1.43 whip, 26 Ks on the season. He's got about average velocity. His junk and accuracy are a little bit less than average, and he's. Uh, uh, almost full up stamina. He's got a four seam fastball, a curveball, and a changeup. He's going to look at Dunk Pineda, who's one for three with a strikeout. Guadalupe Pennington, who's one for three. And Peyton Nelson, one for three with a home run and a strikeout. Again, mm -hmm. B Wolves, uh, Gold Coats leading 6 1. They've out hit the B Wolves 10 6. Dunk Pineda, the center fielder, is one for three with a single and an RBI. Dusty Winder looks in. Strike. Delivers the first pitch in there for a called strike. Strike one. Strike. Delivers the second one in there for another strike. Called strike. No balls, two strikes to Pineda's uh, hit. Playing center field for the uh, Gold Coats. Oh, no, <gasps> no. What, what, oh, what are you, you doing? Gotta press, the, press the B button. She'll go straight there. Uh, no yeah, if you do it manually, you might miss. No, I did. I, I, what happened was. I inadvertently pulled the right trigger. Uh, Knox to Dexterous to Franco double play. All right, makes up for that. Uh, Peyton Nelson's tense, one for three with a grand slam home run on the day and, and followed that up with a strikeout. So who knows what he's going to do here. That one from Winders low, ball one, one and oh. Two outs, bottom of the eighth. There's a shot. Oh, oh over Freddie Knox. That <laughs> again. Going into. Okay. Yeah, Delgado. that too. <laughs> Pants still got on the second baseman. He's tense as well. This is a, this team is so tense, and yet they're beating the crud out of yeah. us. All right, two outs, uh, runner at second. There's a shot to Dexter as he picks it up, makes the throw to first to retire the sides. Um, yes, Buster Biggs, Alora Franco, and Magic Moore. Biggs one for three, Alora Franco one for three with a double. Moore's two for three. De La Rosa is up to 67 pitches with a strikeout and six hits. He hasn't even reached the top of what a starting pitcher should throw, which is about 70 pitches. <laughs> Buster Biggs is locked in. 
He is hitting 375. Smashes his first pitch, and it's that is. Oh no, it isn't. Ballard holds it at the warning track. I can't. There's like something against me. This is ridiculous. The wind must be blowing in. It's uh, for the past three games. I hit them hard, and they don't, they go nowhere. That's a cold strike against Delora Franco. That's high ball one. One and one with one out in the top of the ninth. There's a smash. Splits the third baseman at shortstop. And Alora Franco Peel pulls into first with a clean single. b Wolves get something going here. Come on, Magic Moore. Let's do something here. God, it's killing me. Magic Moore, two for three. He's got good contact against lefties. Keeping a close eye on first base. Misses that first pitch. Maybe he's distracted. One and all the count. Top of the ninth, medium pressure. No. Oh, looks that one's going to be caught easily by De La Rosa. Just a little, <laughs> a little, a little, a little embarrassing bump. <sighs> Freddie Knox, 0 for 2. He's tense and fit. And uh, two outs, top of the ninth. Freddie Knox takes the first pitch for a cold strike. Strike one. That's outside. Ball one. One and one. Allen's low, ball two, two and one with two outs in the top of the ninth. That's smashed into right center field. Ah, uh, dog, no. Oh, no, no. Oh, she was going to make it, and she's out. The game's how over. Is she, how is she out? She wasn't that oh, far from the base. She was going to come home and get the run, and she turned around and went back. And uh, <laughs> she was out. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that, well, that's a perfect end to a perfect day, though, really. Yeah, and again, it comes down to, I just, you know, I wanted her to keep going, but I wanted him to stop because he was going to get tagged out. And that's it right, trigger. Up, yeah, everybody just turn, returned. I, you know. Uh, uh, <laughs> aggravating. Just an aggravating day. Uh, well, boy, I, we never had it. Well, actually, we had the lead. We started off with the lead. We did. And then we gave up six straight, right? Yeah, in the fifth inning. Yeah, we, we got the lead in the fourth. It immediately crushed us within yeah. an inning, within a full inning. And it all started with that stupid Hanley Dexterous. I swear, I, it got, I've got, um, what do you call it? Stutter. Lag? Just, yeah, it was uh. lagging out. And I picked it up, and I went to make the throw, and it lagged. And when it came back, it was like red. Oh, the boy. throw was yeah. like red. And, then, and that's how we missed that. If he makes that throw, that's the third out. We're out of it. Yeah. And yeah. it's from there then that everything else kind of happened. And <laughs> yeah, that. and I don't know why Freddie Knox was playing so close to second base. He was pulled way over to second base. They kept just hitting it right. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. whatever. <laughs> well, it was poor playing the field on my part, and I, I gotta I gotta wear it, you know. Uh, well, Dexter is over four, LeBoink over four, yeah. Banks over three, Peck over three. Um, real, I mean, not a whole lot of contribution there. Laura Franco did her job, two for four, Magic Moore two for four. Torrens was one for one on the day until she got hurt, sprained that wrist on the dive. Hopefully, hopefully she'll yeah. be all right. Deshaun Levon was even one for two. Um, so there's your there's your contribution on the day. Yeah, and uh, you know, I mean, if you look over on the Gold Coats, everybody hit. Everyone French was one. French was one for four. Ballard one for four. Thornton one for four. Stewart two for four. Pineda two for four. Pennington one for four. Nielsen two for four. Delgado one for four. And even the pitcher uh, De La Rosa one for three. So every, yeah, everybody yeah. hit on their team. No, no subs either. No, no subs. They played with two hundred on the season. Gets the grand slam. Yeah, and he was tense. I mean, he even when he hit the home the the grand slam, he was tense. And you're like, okay, we 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 got this one, you know. <laughs> yeah. Um, but he hits the home run. He gets the the grand slam home run. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, that was just is not a good not a good return to the game. That's for sure. Desha Deshaun Levon didn't pitch poorly. He went seven innings. Uh, he got ten hits off him. The one earned run, seven Ks. Not bad there. He got yeah. one home run, and it was a, it was a big one. So right. his ERA drops to five seven nine. He's now one and three on the season. Dusty Winter comes in relief, throws one inning, uh, gets two hits off him, and uh, he's he stands at a four two four ERA. What happened? De La Rosa gets the win for the Gold Coast. He throws nine innings. Oh. What happened? I was gonna say, it just kicked me out. That's funny. 
See, I'm not crazy. It was it was acting weird. <laughs> it was acting weird this evening. <laughs>